Hi everyone, Kate is here and today we will learn how to set recurrent payments in WordPress form. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on interesting and handy tutorials. So guys, shall we get started? In today's video, we will be working with Gym Membership Subscription Form. For this case, we will use Jet from Builder plugin and PayPal Recurrent Payments add-on. PayPal Recurrent Payments is a small modification that allows you to create subscriptions and accept recurrent payments via PayPal integrated forms. It supports fixed, quantity-based, volume-based, and tiered payment types, which makes it super convenient to use. It is fully Jet from Builder ready and requires a minimum setup on the backend. Moreover, it allows you to monitor all payments and manage subscriptions via a handy dashboard. PayPal recurrent payments functionality can be used for creating and providing subscription plans for workout programs, online courses, SMM and streaming services, licenses subscriptions, and much more. So don't hesitate to explore your imagination and use this add-on at its best. Pro version add-ons can be easily installed and activated via the Jet from Builder dashboard. Just go to Jet from Builder, Add-ons, and find the PayPal Recurrent Payments add-on in the Available Add-ons section. First of all, install it and then activate it to get it ready for further use. Since we're going to be working with the PayPal integration, the first thing you need to do is of course get your PayPal application credentials, such as client ID and secret key from the PayPal developers dashboard. These two are vital for the payments gateway setup procedure in the Jet from Builder settings. Once you've found them, follow to Jet from Builder, Settings, toggle Enable Gateways option on. For this video, I will be using a test mode, so I will toggle it on too. Now expand PayPal Gateway API section and paste both Client ID and Secret Key into the corresponding fields and don't forget to hit Save button. The next thing you need to do is actually create subscription plans in your PayPal business account. Please make sure to use the same business account that you've attached to the PayPal REST API application earlier. So here I have two subscription plans, 6 month unlimited and 1 year unlimited. Both of them are of a fixed pricing type. To create a new subscription, go ahead and click on Create Plan button, enter your subscription details following this easy step-by-step -step form, and don't forget to turn the plan on once finished. Now, with having subscription plans ready, we can customize the form gateway settings. For that, navigate to Jet from Builder, Forms, and create a new form from scratch by clicking on the Add New button or edit one from the list. In the Jet Form sidebar, go ahead and expand the Gateway Settings tab and tick PayPal Checkout option. As you can see, it requires Save Form Record Post Submit Action to be added since they work in conjunction. That is why let's expand the next set of options and add Save Form Record Action to the form. Now we can edit PayPal Checkout settings with no problem. So, here's the place where we can enter the client ID and secret key for the PayPal REST API application or use global settings we entered in the beginning of this video. In the gateway action, we can choose one option from the list. Pay now if we want it to be an instant one-time payment or create a subscription, which is exactly what we need for our case. Now we need to click on the Sync Access Token button 
to make sure that the form is hooked to the PayPal account. All right, now we can customize subscription settings. In the subscription plan field, you can either choose the field from the form or leave it as manual input. As for subscription plan, here you need to specify the exact plan you want to be applied to this form. In the quantity field, you can again choose the field from the form or use manual input to specify the number of subscriptions per form. And of course, you can customize payment success and failed messages to communicate this information to the customer in the best way possible. Don't forget to hit the update button to save the changes and update the form too. Since the form is all set and ready, now we can display it in a nice looking pop-up. Follow to Jet pop-up and open one with Elementor. Search for the Jet form widget and place it onto the canvas. Proceed to the form settings and choose required form from the list. Style it to your convenience and hit update button. Now, let's attach this pop-up to a corresponding button on the page. For that, open the needed page with Elementor, select the button widget and open Advanced Settings tab. Expand the Jet pop-up settings and enter the name of the pop-up you'd like to attach. Choose the trigger type, click on widget, and update the page. And right now, let's try to test the form. Here we are on the front end, so let's try to choose the membership and submit the form. Give me a minute to enter the client's information and click submit button. Good. Now we got redirected to the PayPal, so let's log into the personal account to proceed further. Here we are at the PayPal checkout page, where we can view our subscription details and choose a convenient way to pay for the service. Here we can double-check shipping and payments information, and finally subscribe to the service. That's it! The form has been successfully submitted and the payment has been processed by the PayPal system. If you want to check this, you can either visit PayPal website or follow to the Jet from Builder section in your WordPress dashboard. All subscriptions can be easily found in a handy subscriptions dashboard. Here is the place where you can not only see some general information like email of subscriber, billing cycle, subscription status, etc., but also you can view detailed information and suspend or cancel subscription if needed. Once you click on View button, you get access to detailed payer info, payment shipping info, subscription details, and related form record as well as related payments and some notes. Also, here you can cancel or suspend subscription too. And if you want to make a refund, you can follow to Payments section, find Required Initial Payment and click on the Refund button. Also, please be advised that you have an opportunity to suspend or refund subscriptions directly in the PayPal website too. But be aware that if you cancel the subscription, you will not be able to restore it later. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope this video was useful and informative, and if so, don't forget to give it a like. Also, if you still have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop them right in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your attention, have a wonderful day, and take care.